Allah ta'alim ayil bahdu bi'alim walad dalim Rabbana akbim lana nurana wa kaffarana shayi'atina wa tawaffana ma'ar labrar Rabbana atina ma wa atana ala rasulika wa la tukhuzina yawm al-iyamati innaka la tuflihul ma'ad Wuhormati Allahumma fasalli wa sallim wa barik ala hazihin nabiyyul karim Sayyidi Sanadil Azim Zul Qalbi Rahim Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wa tasliman Rabbana atina fi dunia hasanatan wa fi lakhirati hasanatan wa aqina azab al-nar Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifina wa salamun ala al-musalin Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin Amin ya Amin Shukran Imam Jala Bishop you have the floor please Thank you Chairman most holy God, Father of all masses, the creator of all humankind throughout the whole face of the globe, in your image, we continue to call upon you that you look kindly upon all human beings throughout the whole face of the globe that you grant us heart of mercy, heart of love, heart of sympathy, heart of forgiveness, heart of empathy, and heart of goodness. We continue to submit the witnesses that will come to the TRRC today and pray that by your divine grace and mercy, but you shall enable them to speak the truth and also grant the commission the designing spirit to design between truth and falsehood and also grant uh, the population in this nation, the Gambia, the diaspora and the international community, grant them the willpower, the patience to allow the due process to take its proper course. And at the end of it all, you shall grant the reward. This we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And thank you very much, I'm, uh, Bishop I'm, uh, Medico. Council, um, uh, you may proceed if you're ready with this morning's witness. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, and members of the audience. We are ready to proceed with this morning's witness. Thank you. Thank you. I love in charge. I love in charge. Do swear that. Do swear that. I'll speak the truth. I'll speak the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Morning, sir. Uh, welcome to the TRRC. Yes, again. Uh, yes, again. This is your second trip here. Yes, sir. Uh, so you know the drill? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, in which language would you wish your testimony to be interpreted into? To be interpreted into? Mm -hmm. Mandinka. The Mandinka. Yes, sir. Okay. Mandinka boot, are we ready? Uh, Mr. Witness, uh, you've just taken a note to speak the truth. Yes, sir. 
May I remind you that it's a criminal offense to provide false or misleading information to the TRRC or, or and also to lie on the oath. <laughs> TRRC ni ati nimele jang yena na kumasoto balofo warando yena komisong filindi ubi mkule ni miyano kulu wati nyale yes sir good you are called upon today to testify about a few things ye kumande jang bi purkana sedan rode di jang kudantang kono that mainly concerning the police diaries ado kono wale mnyiti police wala diary kira kool safa diamondo and the treatment of the Ghanaians who are detained at the Banjul police station. Ghanaian banku dingo mol bri ye muta ye muta ye sorong ye detain Banjul police station ye marje nyame mfanang ala kuwa nyimbe wafanang kachala. Are you ready to proceed? Reparer in the back of the madam. Yes sir. In July. July karoko no? 2005. You are working at the Banjul Police Headquarters, correct? Yes, sir. At the Major Crime Squad. Uh, well, Tonya, the Major Crime Squad. Could you remind the Commission how you came into contact uh, with the three Ghanaians who are detained at the station? First, Commission Keno ranyari la wado bedo kula polisi la ukora baro ni gani yani banku din sabo ni ni nyoso ranyari le on that fateful day wale hula I received a telephone call from my OC Malamin Sisi wale nkumandi mamu na nyato nkoti OC Malamin Sisi nkumandi telephone wala that there are some Ghanians who were intercepted along Bara. And they have been transported to the Navy. So I should leave the July 22nd square and go to the Navy immediately. I went to the Navy. I first met Eric. Under the custody of the Navy. I took excuse from the officers in charge. That I was going to write his statement. And I moved with Eric. Eric Tata To the major crimes. Kata major crimes wale mpolis la ubunda ati menu ka kuja wulu no masata. Eric told me the story. Eric yela kuwa kalamu fonye. That he is part of the the migrants. Kwa ati fanambe uuda ilal lekono. And his two colleagues are behind. Andung akafunyo mamu fulonu bekoma. I went back to the Navy. Muruta kuteke kata bako no soja ro la kordato. I still talk to the in charge, the man there. Membe mara ringe la kuteke ndia mutaye. I brought two of them. No ulu mufuno ufananati. With lamin tunkara. Ini kamba no meng ikafaye lamin tunkara. Would you say that again? Avokota njaba. I went back to the Navy. Muruta bato soja ro la kordato. I brought SCN. Natani Asian Nataniola and Daniel and in Daniel with Lamin Tunkara and in Lamin Tunkara. When you did that, were you okay? Were they booked for you to call Safelaba? Yes, they were detained at Banjul Police Station. Ah, um, Cindy Banjul Police Corda Bato for some days. Yet till Danta Kewoto. And I could remember on the 24th or 25th. We brought up to Major Crime Squad. And the entries were booked in the Major Crime Squad diary. And uh, if you see that diary again, would you be able to recognize it? What diary ni wale yake la police police yake la kero kuhusu safari damu ndo police station ndo ni wale diary je ba suti la laba? 
Very well, sir. It was written by Lead Sergeant Du. Ha, amba sute la kende ke tala Sergeant Du ruwele yo saferoke. And uh, you would be able to recognize the entries. And you suffer all the Yes, sir. Ha. He, he signed against all the entries. Uh, sign like uh, 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 signature Kabala will be a better day. Mr. Chair, the major crime diary is here with us. Uh, that was exhibited as Exhibit 203. Could you take a look at the document? Uh, is this the diary you are referring to? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, this, is, this is the very diary. diary for How do you how are you able to recognize it? Uh, when this diary was filled, the last page. Uh, I exhibited the diary in my possession. The phone diary ni nakolu safer numara roto. I gave it to the investigators two days ago. Nata di kisi kisi la la telefona commando. Which investigators? Kisi kisi la jumalo. The TRRC investigators. TRRC la kisi kisi la lo. So you kept this diary. Munda ni diary ni amatar tete la maro kore ya mabo. It was under my possession. Ah, the phone ya mara lo. Okay, we would come to. The reasons why you kept this diary. Me now dalilo dalilo me ya sabu ye ni diary ta ya mara atar tama bori bulu. But uh, can you kindly go through the diary? Para si lang ni diary ni mo sa juve no la ba. Ya juve kumakomin ba. And identify to us the entries that were made relative to these four people you mentioned. Ya juve buko ni kono juve. For the sujer roll kela jela me alun ko safro kada kamen ka sujer ni mo sa bol lakura. Yes, mm -hmm. no, 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 sorry. Yes, they are entered here. Hi, philosopher in Yang. Could you read out the entries the, and the date and time? Several members, the first are Karan Nobang, and no one in Watoni, Montoro Watoni. Robert Essien. And you, Robert Essien, are escorted to Kuman Yao Eric, Daniel Amankwa, and Robert Essien. Okay. Kuman Yao Eric. Yes. But his real name is. Eric, Yao, Yao. Urusu, Ansa. Yes. What am I talking about? Daniel Amankwa and Robert Essien. Uh, if, you, if you see this guy again, Kuman Yao, Eric, would you be able to recognize him? Yes, yes, yes. Eric. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah. I, I, I was with them when they are brought in by, I think, the human rights. Somewhere around Bakau. And I used to communicate frequently with Eric. Eric on, on WhatsApp. WhatsApp la Carola. Did you watch TRRC proceedings uh, day before yesterday? TRRC la Sioning. 
tena lungo ni ya juu bila ba. Very well sir. Kanda kide. Did you who did you see? Yeye jumala je? I've seen Eric testify. I've seen Eric testify. Na Eric jele ya besede ya rola. How did he testify? Ya besede ya rodi ni adile. He testified on Skype. I said they are on okay, Skype. Le. So, so there is no Martin also testified. So there is no mistake that we are referring to the same person. Munda filite je kumbi omo kilimola. Okuma niyo Eric in your record is the same as Eric yao also answer who testified. Yes, sir. Maniyo Eric ite la safari bila ni nyama amunda omo kilimola tele ya said and do dija. Yes, sir. So and you have uh, uh, Daniel Amankwa. Yes, sir. And Robert Essen. Robert Essen. No, no, Essen. Daniel ah. Monkwa and Robert Essen. They are recorded in your register. He yes, 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 yes. You ah. mentioned Tunkara as well. Yes, Tunkara is also here. Tunkara is also here. What's his full name? Atua Fulodu. It's Mod Lamin Tunkara. Momodu Lamin Tunkara. Momodu Lamin Tunkara, Bole Matobet. Ah. Could you mark against the entries, uh, just put an asterisk so that we can show the chairman and the commissioners? Just an asterisk. So that we can just easily show the, the commissioners. And tell us about Modula Mintunkara. Modula Mintunkara is not going Mulamin Tunkara was also detained. Mulamin Tunkara fana ya fana mutale kasi ndiye. What was he detained in connection to? Ya tadi sindi dla kilembe na choki tamu nela. In connection to the same the same thing. Tewe kuki ni moyo biya mutawale la. Illegal migration. So wuda ilal la muiti meni silo manta. Illegal migration of who? Wuda ilal meni alangu eni silo manta purujumali. Of the West African migrants. Wala kila mu fundula ni intelligi banku di moluti. The same group that was apprehended from Bara. Very well, sir. Um, thank you very much. Uh, uh, and what happened to Tunkara? Bamin Tunkara was received. Bamin Tunkara may have as according to this diary. Of on the 25th July 2005. July 1st, 2005. Lamin Tunkara, a detainee, is received by Bamba Mane of the NIA. Mod Lamin Tunkara, between Bamba Mane, member NIA, when they are at Jia in July 1st, 2005. That was 14:27 hours. Oketa chalamu fula tambi lumi niti muang ani uro ulala. Can you look at the first entry relative to the first entry about Modula Min Tunkara? Is it can you determine when he first came into the hands of the police? Is eh you bogo ningo na watu wa mene Modula Min Tunkara watu na na watu follow ningo watu mene na police ulu bulo kono eh dinkira la ida fana la police ulu karole kaka kudame major crime unit watu mene na raji. Look at, look at, look from 22nd and 23rd. Yes, yes, yes. Have you seen it? Yes, I have seen it. Tell us which date and time. Yes, sir. 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 Lamin Tunkara is escorted to detention. Lamin Tunkara ya dandang ka dundi mutokono. That is the first entry on this major crime diary. Wole kita ala kuo safi fuloti ka dundi major crime la uyu mbuko wakono. Kindly take us through the entries concerning Lamin Tunkara. Lamin Tunkara kuo membe sujiri nga la tool ala kuo la mesa feta diary nyi kono afonye nyi bang. Bula nyo no maya afonye ya kera nyadi le. When he was received by Bamba Mane of the NIA, Bamba Mane ya jia member in NIA, 
But normally return Lamin Tunkara to Major Crime Squad at 1535 hours. But normally Lamin Tunkara Murundinang, Major Crime La Bundala, when Tanansaba Tambiru, Military Tansabani Lulola. When did Bamba Mane first receive him? Bamba Mane Yata, what did you mean for Bamba Mane first received him at 1427 hours. And returned him? Return him 1535. Just a little on for little under one hour. Munta Mundro Wati Kilin Rolebe Tema La Sambu Anam Gunda Murundina Waroman. And we know Lamin Tungara is escorted to detention again. And we with with Kuman Yao Eric Daniel. Kuman Yao Eric Daniel. No Daniel Amankwa. Daniel Amankwa. And Robert Essien. And Robert Essien. Mr. Chair. By 2140. Uh, talang kolon to talang tanda sa ring minute muang watu lo ye samba. Uh, Mr. Chair, this begs the question whether the person arrested by. Uh, Mr. Jallo at Westfield, where the dead person was in fact Lamin Tunkara. Because clearly, by this record, Lamin Tunkara was arrested by, but was, was at the Navy, yes, sir. and was taken by him to the police together with the Ghanaians. And that's the reason why he is recorded in the diary. And that is why the NIA took him out and returned him to the police station on several occasions. So whether Mr. Jallo was mistaken, uh, we don't know. Whether he arrested a wrong person, we don't know. Or whether he may be mistaken as to the date of the arrest of Lamin Tukara, we don't know. But at the end of the day, all that would fizzle into insignificance uh, as the evidence unfolds, because we would be able to establish that Lamin Tunkara was last seen in the hands of state authorities. And, and that would be sufficient for the purposes of our inquiry. Noted, Council. Continue. Uh, could you? Uh, Indicate uh, the other entries about Lamin Tunkara. Eh, Lamin Tunkara, to ku alaku tani na dunni finto me ya kala fana ngi safro mi ke bugol kono tuol mi tuaji wal fana mi fanya ba. On the 26 July 2005. July karo tuli mwa ni woro 2005. But Lamin Tunkara is released at large as instructed by the command. Yele mo Lamin Tunkara bula ka bula eta ko kanti ulu ya fanya mi. So you will see that the instructions were received, an order was received by them to release Modo Lamin Tunkara. And they released him and recorded that in the diary. Uh, do you know what happened to him afterwards? Uh, when Lamin Tunkara was released, Lamin Tunkara in a moment, as he promised his colleagues that he would bring them food, uh, he called me that he was escorted by three plain clothes officers. I am commander Kafanyenko. Most of the bad and me yalonko. Uh, in my uniform, dunde. Who took him to his room? Then he asamba ala swoko no. They told the wife to stand at the veranda. Kala muso no perengo koto. Who was pregnant at the time? Mutumu wo harjeo bala be kono kono bala. They searched the whole of his house and took the money. He said the money was too much. That, did you hear from Lamin Tunkara again? Uh, in 2017, when I returned from mission, 2017, I was approached by investigators from abroad who told me that Lamin Tunkara was dead. So, from the last telephone conversation you had with him in July, 
when he told you that plain clothes officers came to his, escorted him to his house and took away a large amount of money, you haven't heard from him since. Munda Birina and Yomu in Lavanketa, July Karo Kono, Kaakoeko, a Mulle Fede de Mayan Koyen Tambindi, Ben Sambakang, and Dung Wulmar in my uniform or Dung. And we not had a bungono, yala bungono viste, ya yako, ya ya ikala musoeko, aweta, lo peronkora, bodge, in yala bungono viste, kurijama bakaron taraje, no tata. Bring up whatever Munda Munfemwa, Lamitun Karama Kotank. That's exactly what happens. Well, a fungo keta. You can you pass the diary, please, so, so that we can show the commissioners the entries in the diary. Have you asterisked them? Yes, sir. Okay. Chunkara is the last one. Okay. Can you can you open it from the from the starting page, the first page of these entries? It starts here. Okay. And then here. Okay. Received. Just open the first page. Okay. The commissioners can turn and the pages. Just see what it ah. Mr. Witness, you told the commission that you kept this diary with you. Yeah. Say though, even for commission, you go in diary, you authorize the Morocco no yamabo. Yes, sir. Ha. Why did you keep the diary? When I saw the diary, you tell yamabo if I'm free. The first reason why I kept the diary. Kali la flow me a kemi na diary ni mabo. Was for my own security. Wala munte fomo la kanto ni tanka dati. The other reason why I kept the diary. Kali la do membije. Was because of the fact that the state was bent in covering up. Wala mi nto ni ati man sakunda la fta ni kulu ke mabo ke ilu. All trace about the migrants. Men keta ni wuda ila la kote la fta be yeman dilale. And I have seen diaries exhibited. And the diary in the menu la ko itandi. So when this one was full, as I am the custodian. Bringing dum fata wire in tele martala. I kept it at home. Na mabo unfawaya. So you kept this diary in order to preserve it. Yamunda nyin diary tala ya mabo puri ya tankandi. Basically yes. Ah, wale fangu. Do you know why the government wanted to cover up? Yalan dah ilo meh sabu masa kunda membenun jangan wilaf tak aku nyinta kama bo. Because of the illegal actions that happened to the Ghanians. Kau kutilin balo meh alonko oleh kita ganang kau lejang. And the rest of the migrants. Ani udah ilah tu mak kau tenulu. Because immediately it happened. Kau bilah kita dorong. I think officers were delegated to go to Barra Station. Ia mula uli ni mana yang langkau ingat tak cara dol tak tak bara polis stesen itu. To find out whether there had been records. Rukaju berfungsi kulu safetale. So are you suggest? Was it on the bara they went to for the purposes of records? Ida ada bara drone dan bara polis stesen. Rukaju berseferol kaju kaju seferol kaju berapa? For the purposes of record, it's not only bara. Rukaju berfungsi seferol kita lah. Mungkin bara ada mantid. Where else? Anim minto, ita damen. Even fatu to police station. Ita tala hanfo fatu to police station oto. And where else, as far as you know? And and busu to police station. Anim busu to police station. So they went to fatu oto. They went to bara and busu to police station for diaries. Amunde ita tala fatu oto, ita tala bara, ita tala busu to even police station or puru kanyin diary ljiwe. What did they do with these diaries? Ia mula kanyin diary lah. Ia kumur kasa fem buku mengkono. I know the diaries were tampered. I would not say, with a certain to say, that those were the diaries exhibited at the headquarters. Nta phone nak kau lem diary untuk dia yang mana fikir dia korda banyak itu barang yang sebenarnya longko diary 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 untuk seton thale yang mana nak kau lumai belum ada mana la. I've seen that diaries exhibited there. Naja ni yang untuk yang dije. Can you explain what you mean by you've seen the diaries exhibited there? Oh, isah phone nak kau misalnya hello kau tu mungkin mana di kafu kau ia je ini ada kau diary itu aje fikir dia lafad kul kono. I have seen diaries kept in one office. The diary will be in the Mabo office door. The then office of Ellis Sanyan. Office of Colonel Mayor Lanko Ellis Sanyan, the office of the Motinu. Then he was the CMC. But who was the CMC? When was this? In Kedawati Jumal. I knew about this during when Molamin Cesar was tasked to investigate about the issue of the American brothers and the and Chief Money.
ndeta nyen kala ma wato me yemulla mim sisi sasi kay mulla ko kisi kisi men kata wo badi malti america ani chief ibrahim mane la ko in fact i told him that some diaries are exhibited nte fawle a fayen ko diary do lu suton tale de men la ko yitalita this investigation might be very crucial because you might not have the proper records a nyen kisi kisi ro dum kum ma ya a se keno ko safere lu men mu tonyati ite o suton nola Why did you say that to him? Mane ya sabu ite o fae because the diaries were kept. Ka to diary o ni lu ye mabole. But why did you say this to him? Bare mane ya sabu ye kuma kan o fae. Just to to let him know that he might not find anything. Puro ka alondi ni na ko ase keno ate fengela. Did you have a suspicion? Wey so bo so de leba. Uh the suspicion the only suspicion I have was the diaries were kept. So but I'm not sure wrong when you think you had a real one in your mabole. And that was not a suspicion that is something that you knew. You had actual knowledge of it. Comment que ça boit? Comment comment couler mais alors que yellow dose là quoi ni connait. Yeah, actually no. Na lonne. The government might not want to malamen to see. Ah, I'm not as scared of Franco ngani lon comment ça kunda te la fila mod la min be men ni nin kan a pour canadien. Those records of what he is investigating. Uru kolu men ni safeta wo ko men abaki siki siki kan pura kana wolu je I know that was the reason why the diaries were exhibited Na no wo dalilo le ya sabu nyin da 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 re lu ta ye ye mabu the views of the world exhibited what do you mean are kept Okay ye mabu okay by LS Sanyang CMC he was not the one who kept it it was kept in his office he was the custodian Amanke ko ate famale ye mabu de bari ye sambala official to ye mabu ji Who would have done that? Uh, that would, would be done through instructions. Well, <laughs> Probably the, the, the investigator at Bara Station. Would tell you who, who instructed them. Okay, you, which diaries did you see? I did not confirm the diaries. ma atonya yandi de juma nyol dari juma nyol le mo suspected there are diaries from fatoto bara bari so bita ko dari o le mo bata fatoto ani bara and probably brusu and ru ma seke fanan brusu bi why would you suspect this ones mune ya sabu so bita nyinda because these diaries would entail atu ni dari o be itandi ro kelale proper records of the migrants in kulu men safeta ni wulay la la koto safeta ni min for bara for bara and for do for chief mane and in for do for chief mane la ko and this be for the american brothers and in bruce be for wo badi malu men keta american old do you have any information regarding what entries might be in the bruce be diary regarding the american brothers es so bo so dalba mun kuma kan le be tarla do diary ni ngono men ya lon ko wala diary bo da bruce bi men be sugiring wo american body ma fulol ni na the bruce bi diary bruce bi diary ni that would be mamu job and ibu ibu sise no kala mamu job and ibu sise da di kodi i think one mr fati ngam le ka fu me ye mr fati on plain to bruce bi station a wa sita bruce bi station oto that he did not see his tenants ko amang ala luntango luje the house was left open bunyin to tayele ring and scattered and the family be janjandi nje you mean ransacked and sacked amun day family be janjandi and but uh, what would that mean o koto munere he 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 wanted an investigation to find out what had happened to them ala fanum kisi kisi ron la pour ça non mo nekata ngelu la and uh, where did he report the matter ayo ko ni bole min dole the matter was reported at bruce police station a ko ni ya akibaro di bruce police station ole la how do you know that te wala nyaadi la i came to know that i am at the headquarters na ta bo kala malika to to mon tele be police corda ba ko to know that when malamin was task na ta lo wato me malamin sasi be part of that investigation ra et ra o kisi kisi ro ko Do you want to form a report? Rasi kibaro safe. The delegates yes to come. Puru nuntangulo melubinala. Did he see the diaries? Fa diary ninjela ba. 
I was not part of the investigation. Man, tera kisi kisi ro njim kono de. I don't know whether he had seen it. Malo fire ajele. But when you told him about the diaries in uh, CMC Ellis Sanyang's office, did he go to check them? Yes. Did he diary njim nakumo fa member CMC the office or for other jele? Yes. He had gone to check them. Ah, tata le puru kaya jube. He came back and confirmed to me. That you are right, I've seen those diaries. And what would be the significance of the Fatoto diary? Fatoto diary la kuro. The Fatoto diary would be the entries of Chief Mane. Fatoto diary ni ubeke la kule ti mimi safi Chief Mane la kulo to. Who had been detained there for a while? May I long call ya? Fana muta ya sindi jia watike ibulo kolaji. Do you know where the chief man has been seen? Seen again? May I long na for chief man for a general kotenge ba? No sir. Honey, what was the reason? As far as you know, what was the reason for these diaries to be brought to CMC's office? Muna ndalilo te kome niti minga atra ya alo ndalilo mea sabu nye ndari liye nati CMC la officer Like my ID had explained yesterday So ID ya fonye minkulu The station diary is the record of all activities Station on the diary wole mpulu minu beta mataje ke safe kitabu mambala That happened at the station Mekulu minu kataje So those diaries will be kept Ndari ulu isi mabu High trace of entries of those persons. Bro, you see, I'm having in camera call the menu la kuju be kang mo kana ije. Did are you aware of any efforts being made during that time, 2005 onwards, to to disappear entries in diaries? Fo ya londe bangu ya kalamu la koko kato kufere dala wa wara 2005 song kono puru kato kule fere puru kani diary kadiario doli yeye mali 2005 song ha keeping the diaries are part of them kadiario ni ni mabo fomo dabo kulo kono le but as a police or senior police officer serving there at the time did you hear anything about what was going on with diaries? Tuma la mene mimi nimpolisi kibali tu watu la jero. Fui kumakamu mwele ba mea lungo wale sujiri ni ndari la kula ba. I heard from personnel of Bara Station then. Na mwe mbio kula lula mene ba Bara Police Station ro utumo. That entries of the migrants. Oh, yangu kula mene safi ni muda ila la kuto. Where I don't know torn torn out or where erased. Uh, ako aseke yeye kaito luni lifarale buko kono wala yeye la kula tuto. Did they tell you how that was done? If I have one, okay, no, I did No. Any more for me? Okay. Thank you very much. In Barabake. We, I'm. I want to believe you have seen. Yao Eric Yao also answer. Otherwise, Kuman Yao Eric, you've seen him testify. Zapelala ni nalo kwe Emmanuel Yao Eric. Eric Eric yaje la bese dendro diga. Yes, sir. Ah. He told the commission that he was taken upstairs and tortured by Sergeant Dur. Santo Santo and I was surprised that Eric mentioned that. But I didn't dispute him. Because he has mentioned about being electrocuted. I had wanted to ask him. Uh, but I did not ask him. But when he mentioned about being electrocuted, I was thinking that probably the NIA came there then took him out in the night and did that to him. But because Sergeant Dur was the station officer at the time, Sergeant Dur could, could be present. Sergeant Dur Sima Beno Leje. But during their time of detention at the police headquarters, but what we be mutuokolo police headquarters, they were not tortured. Man Kuke Leje. Well, he said they were taken upstairs in the night. Well. He did not mention the time. Oh yeah, that was the Santo Lelo Bunjang or Santo. Because police don't have anything to execute anybody. And then Major Crime Squad closes by 1600 hours. 
tatu polisi je wakorda bato fenti je mensi kiko ese wakeno mwala daming yo adu police major crime wulka ji tala uwaro le uraro but you do not rule out the possibility that tala nani tala nani sorry yes he has never told me that the 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 foreign delegates who came to me in 2017 did not tell me that. I did, I did not dispute the fact. Because I knew these migrants had gone a lot of things. A lot of things. Probably they wanted him because Lamin Lamin Lamin, Lamin Tunkara was received to the NIA. Probably they wanted Eric to confirm to them that he is part of the migrants. And that might warrant the torture. That's why I didn't dispute it. But while in police custody, he never told you anything like that. He didn't tell me. Neither did he told the uh, the investigators. And I'm afraid kiss kiss will all fall away. Well, you wouldn't know. That. I wouldn't know. But they, they, they didn't tell me anything about it. Well, ma'am, fem fem for you, Allah. But did you see anything on him which suggests that he might have gone through beatings, torture, and so? I think the abalo balal ba member is about in the zone. No more going to go in there. As he can, I I tada could diminu. I will take it. Tajireya warando libaro warando ananyon. No, not at all. How about on the two others, Robert Essien and Daniel Amankwa? Robert Essien and Daniel Amankwa. I've never seen any physical marks on them. Tell me that they were tortured. We communicate all the time. It looks like there's been corrupt practices at the police in trying to cover up uh, government dealings with the migrants to the extent that they were falsifying diaries. Uh, do, are there corrupt cops who would do such things in the police? Mundan fele ko tilimbali ya kuhol tarta katumutama nun polisi wala dinki ya ronyinkama la ko ika diary ta iki bulu kabu diary ma andun ka nying Africa and Tilijinda, a bank with Ningo Molin, a calling card, get a quota, car filling me, and Nunca Masakunda, dema, police Bunda, Masakunda, dema, car, quota, car, mob. For Nimo Tilimba would be a police lever. I would say officers had done this under instructions from the probably the then Inspector General of Police. In Sydney, for local police, or Nisi Aka, as a Kako, the Kamala Soto, Mobulume Yalonko, Tumo, or an Inspector General to police La Carola. Who was uh, Usman Sonko. If uh, other police officers are called, probably. They will clear the facts that they are being instructed. They will clear the facts that they are being instructed. They will clear the facts that they are being instructed. They will clear the facts that they are being instructed. They will clear the facts that they are being instructed. They will clear the facts that they are being Bara CID. And who would that be? Obekele Jumaldi. Probably Babu Babu Karba. Asike ikafume ya Babu Karba. And who else? Ani Juma. Probably the station officer on Bara can also testify. Station officer mimi fanya Bara utu mimi fanya sisi ya rokeno. Who would that be? Olam Jumaldi. No, I didn't know. You've mentioned Mo Lamin Sisi as a person who was asked to do with these investigations. You would be aware of any any cover-ups. Thank you very much. I have no further questions for the witness. Thank you, Council, and thank you, Mr. Cham, for coming to testify before the Commission. Inumbara Council, inumbara Mr. Cham, isonta kana CDR ola kumsa wanyati limula. Commissioners, if you have any questions, may please indicate. If none, Mr. Cham, do you have any brief concluding remarks to make? Wairi, Commissioner, mwema nyini nkaru soto. But Mr. Cham, ifanang, niye kumusoto ilo fta mele landila ka banke, si ufo. Thank you, Chairman. Inumbara, Chairman. Thank you, Commissioners. 
al mimba la commission lolo i would only advise my serving colleagues mbe ya maro mendi la ñun do ko laalu la ñun mo do ko kono that they should be extra careful isi hakilo to kende kende ke no one knew at the time that trrc was coming wo tembo mo maalo ñun ko trrc bina if i had known trrc was coming nina lo ñun ko trrc bina la le i was going to redouble my efforts mbel na katako lu la faala le ñun kende ke i'm also uh, advising my colleagues ben ka funu lu do ko yol ya mar la ko who would sit on this seat of judgment men be si la ni tilino to nya bundal is on this seat ni sira ngo kan you are being judged whether you are truthful or not e be konti bolal de fo to nya la fo wallay man to nya so i would also advise them ne ya mar la woto kan ko when they come here they speak the truth men men na ta jang e si to nya fo thank you sir e no mbara sa Thank you very much indeed them are very wise and, uh, and uh, good um, remarks Mr. Chang. Ni mbara bak ye ya mari kende badi men kete ya mari kendolti ya mari nyamen dimo abak abarka bak Mr. Chang. No thank you for your effort them um, to come here to um, assist us in fulfilling our mandate. Ni ni mbara la isonta kam runa njang pour ka ndema ye kam men din ton la pour na tenten pour ka kam tim mandi. Thank you very much you are released. Abarka ye blale sidam. The next witness. Oh. The next witness ready. Uh, I would ask that we take the 30 minutes break now, uh, and then we sort out the issue of the next witness. Okay. Fine. Thank you. Thank you very much, and uh, we will resume at 11:30. Meeting is adjourned. Gambia may be the smallest country in Africa, but it will host the second largest gathering of world leaders in 2022. To successfully host the OIC summit and put the Gambia on the global stage, the government of the Gambia set up OIC Gambia to mobilize resources for the implementation of key development and infrastructure projects.